Hey YouTube, Dawson Rider here with a review of Hyper Shinken Red from Samurai Sentai Shinkenger. Or some of you may know him as Jaden the Red Samurai Ranger in Shark Attack Mode. I think Shark Attack? Shark Attack Ranger? I don't know. They named it weird here. Um, not like a Sentai purist thing, but I just always forget the name. Um, so anyhow, let's just go ahead and jump right into the review. This is like the third time I'm reviewing Shinken Red. Second time in this mold. Um, so pretty much the same style box you're accustomed to. You got the same red and gold from uh, the Shinken, uh, Shinken Red packages of old. Uh, that rhymed. Uh, picture of him here, his name. Uh, you got this little uh, drawing of Kyoru right down here. So that's kind of cool. Side here, other side. Back shows you stuff you can do with him and what he comes with. So that's cool. Um, accessories wise, he is a little less accessorized than some of the other Shinkenger figures of the past. Uh, you got uh, several sets of fists. You got the closed fister, which are usually fisters, fists, which are usually on him, uh, holding the sword hands. One of which obviously I have on him, or he couldn't be holding that. Um, another one here. You can see he can hold it with um, just some sort of splayed uh, action hands, um, and then you've got some holding. I think the Shiro phone hands. Um, I think I just picked that one up. So, and then some more sp slate open hands and some more shooto phone hands. Um, and then you have the shooto phone in paintbrush mode, which is nicely detailed, we'll say. And then, of course, you have the uh, Kyoru Origami or the Shark Ranger or the Shark Blade or whatever they call it here um, on him. And it has a little hidden disc, which is separate, which I'll show in a second, I suppose. Um, I'll go ahead, get him out of this pose, and show you. Uh, I'll show you this first, actually. So here we have Kyoru Origami. Um, it's a dinosaur in Japan. Here we made it a shark with feet. I don't know. Um, it's really nicely detailed. I really appreciate the paint job on it, especially I like the sort of glowy look of the blue around him. And they got all the details there. They're always really good about painting the weapons here. Um, obviously, here's the little disc I talked about. You can see there's little individual details on it. And it slides onto here. And that came separately. You had to attach it. It wasn't uh, molded on here or anything. But so, very nice job on it. Uh, Shinken Red, uh, obviously, is primarily going to be mostly the same as the other two I've had. He shares the same head sculpt, which I think is pretty good. Uh, you got the shiny head, the shiny visor. Uh, it's pretty well proportioned. Um, now, instead of having a white coat now, he's got a red coat with white shoulder blades. Um, you know, it's this red coat here. You got the Shiba symbol back here. Um, and then his little shoulder blades that move out here. Um, and now this coat's red instead of white. So it's pretty much primarily the same thing. It makes you question why I'm buying it. Um, but overall, still a nice looking figure, and I, I do enjoy this mode. Um, potentially a little bit more than uh, super uh, regular super mode. But uh, it still looks pretty cool, and the paint job is all nice and everything. Just nothing too uh, different going on here. Articulation-wise, you do have your 360 little ball joint here, and your stupid shoulders with the collar discrepancy between the shoulder and the arm. Swiveling here, double elbow joint, swiveling here at the fist. You've got your uh, 360 ball joint here. It is a little bit hindered by his cape, or his skirt cape, whatever. Um, it does bend a little bit to add some leeway, but obviously it is going to create some slight problems as opposed to not having anything there at all. Uh, swiveling there, in case I, unless I already mentioned it. Um, double knee joint here, so he can do some gymnastics. Swiveling here at his foot is on a nice, nice ball joint, so you can get some all around movement there. That was a horrible accent. Um, and then your toe action joint here. Uh, you got your swiveling here at the waist. Um, the chest joint is there, but you can't use it because of how uh, singularly molded this is. And then, of course, your nice head articulation with 360 movement and up and down. So, pretty typical. Sorry if that seems a little fast, but, you know, this is like my third time reviewing him. So, pretty much the same mold as regular Shinken Red underneath. You just got uh, the coat on it, just like Super. It's just a red coat instead of a white one, basically. Um, you do have some slight differences, but other than that, it's pretty much the same thing. He can hold his his dinosaur slash shark, shark, shark sword here and be all cool, and he can brood. He can be like, I don't, he can, I'm going to drop that. I'm so, I'm brooding so much that I can't even, it goes better like that. He's like, I'm going to brood. I have to leave because my sister's more awesome than me, even though my actor is kind of awesome because he likes Avatar and Nightwing. But so yeah, overall, it's a pretty solid figure. Um, if you've watched my reviews before, you know that I'm not too huge of a fan of the uh, the Shinken Red mold, especially compared to the ones that came out later. And this is like the third time I'm getting it. But it still looks pretty cool. I like the Super Mode and the uh, 
uh, hypersync and red modes better than the regular figure. So, um, if I had to get one of the three reds, or even just one of the two caped ones so far, I would get this one, just because I kind of dig the the look a little bit more, even though the contrast of the white does look cool sometimes. I just kind of dig this mode more, and I like the uh, the shark saber or the uh, Kuro origami a little more. So he's probably my favorite of the three Shinken Reds uh, male versions I own so far. I know we are getting a Ghetto Shinken Red, which is him in a black coat um, from Shinkenger versus Gosager, 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 or Gosager versus Shinkenger rather. So I know we've seen that. I'm actually kind of looking forward to that because that's actually probably my favorite of all the coated forms. But right now, if you're trying to make a decision and you only want one Shinken Red, I would get this one. It's not a bad figure by any means. The paint's all good on it. The articulation's good. Um, it can get some pretty cool poses and it's got a nicely painted sword. That's what she said. Um, it's just I'm kind of bored of the mold and uh, I feel like there's some better uh, Sentai molds out there specifically from uh, like Gokaiger molds and the Jetman molds, but overall he's still fine. Um, no, nothing really, not really hating on him, it's just not my favorite. But so until next time, make sure you check out writersmanagementmodels.com for token news in the craze way possible at the RR podcast. Till next time, Stossom Rider, signing out.